second half of Marvel and Dunbar here in the Baltimore City kickoff. Phil Polly. Thank you for watching the interview with Baltimore City Council President Brandon Stepp. Right there, hit hard. And down. That goes there. Starting off. So decent field position here for Dunbar. The court defensively was able to throw it. Twitter. We'll have it on there. Nine 
20 left in the third. The Mustangs up by two touchdowns, 12 nothing. Fakes it, run up the middle. England, he gained a couple. It's gonna be second down coming up here. Umerva. Both teams. No major non-conference opponent in it. It's gonna be second couple of holes the way they did certain divisions. Bowman County, for example, has done all their divisions when they play in the county. Via the classification team time. Snack. Up the middle. That's a run. And a first down run at that. Kyle Parker. Gets it going. the metal. Real close to the first half. Fourth down. I do believe. I'm sorry, second down. Down. 
Louisville, 621 left in the third, 12-0 game for the Mustangs. Mustangs back. Just a run on the edge. Run right to the end zone! And it looks like a touchdown to me. What is it? Parker, he was short of the goal line. Short of the goal line. One yard line. Murbo trying to punch it in to go up three touchdowns. Hillebo. Run. Touchdown, Murbo. Mustangs up. Night. Give me 18 to nothing. To nothing. The Mustangs are up now. Two point conversion is good. They got control of this one here. Poets will receive the kickoff here. Right 
15-yard line, so in the red zone now is Dunbar for the first time. territory for them. Let's see if we got close to the mark. So the 
Jonestown will not stand. A huge shift, the momentum here, Pat. Touchdown to not stand. Roll out. Sykes. Goes down. 23rd and go now. Third and go here. It's not a normal third and goal situation. The ball is back beyond the 20. At the 21. Mustangs up by 20. <laughs> left in the third. Flag is down again. Now what's going on? We got a timeout. I think, think Morgo took their second timeout here in the half. It is. 48 seconds here left. Actually it was on, it was the poets that took the timeout. 20 nothing game. Third down here coming up for the Poets. 48 seconds left here in the court. Low snap. Sykes throws. Up in the air. Got it. It was Ennis. Nope, pushed out. Almost intercepted though. A clean one at that. Both four down. And perhaps this could be the ball game right here. Even in the third quarter, this could be the ball game. <laughs> Seconds here left in the third. More left to go. Gets it off. Turnover on downs. How about that? <laughs> 25 yard line first down for Mervo. I want to thank Baltimore City Coaches Association. Councilman Brandon Scott, we thank him so much. Positive event here. First Baltimore City. High school football classic, and we're hoping this is an annual event for the years to come. That's a run. Oh, that's a nice run. That's a first down. Real close to the marker, anyway. Mervo tonight. Biggest victories in program history a year ago. He was able to escape the first round of the NPSSA playoff. Get all the way to the state semifinals, a game away from being at Navy. That's a run! Score, three! And it's 
inside the bar territory, the Joe Cascu. That's going to end the third quarter. After three, the Mustangs trying to get to 1-0 and a leg up on the Baltimore City Division title. And they're up 20 to nothing over our rival Dunbar. Fourth quarter, up this one in the Baltimore City. High school football kickoff classic here in the National Fourth quarter here underway, and that's a run. Again, another break loose run. And that's the nope, second down for the We had a melee come close to us here. Right close to the broadcasting position here we're at. And it has been settled.
15 left in this one. Number uh, three, uh, yeah, Dumbo. Close on that conduct against the poets. What a hit on both ends there. A little pause for the car for a moment. 20 nothing game. Here. Oh, no, actually, we're not going to pause for the car. Oh, man got up. It was all right. Again, trying to make something happen in the office. They had too many men out on the field, and that will cost them points. There you go. Right here, Shorty. There you go. Right here. Right here. Getting away. Big throw in his hands. Kick off last. 
So finally we're back to game action and uh, the play stood. Dunbar's at first and goal. That took about, you know, the magic of recording you on up. It took a minute. Direct snap. Touchdown. Finally, Dunbar. Drew Harris. Got it in. Look 
Look out down there. Fourth down. The Mustangs did not get it. He's going to go back to Dunbar, and the door has been left open somewhat here.
215 left. Dunbar threatening again. It was a too low, too late for them tonight. Person go here. One forty-eight left. Four down. And he was short. Dunbar, 94 seconds left in this one. Boy's trying to get this lead. He's going to touch that. They can. Cruz, right up the middle and in the end zone. Second touchdown for him tonight. That's the good news. Got to go for two to cut the lead to six. And then get an onside kick. Hey, Jimmy, go get the ball. Go get it. Cruz, running up the middle. Where you at? Looks like he got it. He did get it. Two con conversion is good. Hey, Tate. Oh, it's good. Game. Hey, Tate, go get it! Like we said earlier, the door has been left open. Special teams, go get it! Way behind us. Go get it! Onside kick time. Man, good kick, Little brother. Points. Get that. Go get it! Oh! Hey, Tate! Get the team right here, go! I see how I said. Let me hold it, Glenn. Poets knew they wasn't going to go away quietly in this game. They definitely did not. One of the feature matchups of the week here in the DMV area. This matchup. You do know Mount St. Joe's fouled a good council today. Not as bad as a year ago. Going 19 to 7. The council again, one of the better teams. Go get it! In the DMV area, Dan and Montgomery County. I need you right here, Tate! Oh, come on, y'all! Come on, Daddy! 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 Come on, Daddy!
think Dunbar does. No, Marvo was able to recover. In the nick of time. I mean, that baby, that ball hit some players, went around the bend. Marvo was able to recover. And maybe hold on to this win. This huge win here against Dunbar for them. Offense, the hey, penalty costly right now. <laughs> 2014 game, if you just joined. Hey, Nathan, contain that, Jordan, contain that head. I'll move back. <laughs> hey, hit him, bro. He's going to cut the ball up. <laughs> Oh my! What a hit in the middle. Let's go! That was a huge hit. Timeout by Dumbo. One twenty two left, twenty fourteen game. I'm going to promise you we're going to try to get a post game comment from the winning team. Hey, Sean, let's go, Sean! I'm going to promise you we're going to try. Hey, Matt, you're Big. Hey, did he watch them? They split. Second down here. Coming up. Oh, get a first down. The game is in the books. If they don't, the door is still open for the boys. Did he watch it? Watch it. Watch it. Here we go. Low snap spin out of it. The ball is loose. The ball is loose. James again recover. Parker. The ball loose. Wow. Papa pulling the feet out the jaws of victory here. Mustang's got to keep it together. There we go, Jay. There we go, Jay. 17 left. Oh, oh, oh. That's a good ass game. Oh, oh. See, you got half your oh. team. You got half your team. That ball definitely going out the way. He's different. Big third down coming up. Hey, DD. Let's go, Shorty. Third down for Marvo. The Mustang is able to. Hey, Ed, hold it down. Hey, Tyler, let's go, Shorty. No, hold it down, Shorty. Put the ball in the air. Right now, you might need hey, to do something. Get that. Let's get that first half. We'll be relying on the defense. So the first time Marcus at the 39 yards. Excuse me. My boy standing up. What do I tell you? Watch it down there. Watch the ball. Watch the ball. Low snap. Run up the middle. Let's go. Hey, Nick, you a dog. Let's go, Chris. Let's go. Fourth down. Hey, I love Jason, I swear I do. Hey, yo, get 
Twelve left. Let's go, Sean. Hey, Jason, I love you. Come on, Sean. Oh, 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 oh. Time out. Get your quarterback out. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Not really keeping up on the scoreboard with the timeout. I think that was somebody last, though. So that's a little lot. One twelve. Left in this one. Fourth down from Irvo. He punt the ball. They punt the ball. He didn't even Trying to go for it. It's long to go for it. I would say punt the ball by you is your better bat. One team and two friends, so it's all right, Mark. Fourth down. Coming up to the Mongo defense. They slick. The whole serve here. Watch them, they slick. No, 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 no. Flag is down, however. It's a false start against Marvo. And then it was a yeah. was pretty good. The player wasn't able to hold on. It could have been disastrous. Actually, the flag. And it happened earlier. In another one of our games. The flag actually helped the offense. Nice punt there. Back at the 30. And now with one minute and two seconds left, can Dunbar drive the tie? It's been their second half, and Marvel was able to get one touchdown in. Hey, yo, get up! Get up right now! First down here. Seconds left here. Somebody down six. Driving. Sykes has used his legs to be a facer. He climbs through one more time. He goes down this time. Seconds. Time is still ticking off. 
Crap up. Sack. Flow. Flow it all. the nation, I mean, quarterback to my size, we're taking over the game. We showing that you don't got to be 6'4". I mean, you don't got to be 6'4", 6'5", to, um, to be a, a proficient passer for the pot. And um, all our athleticism I mean, just add on to, um, to what we can do. So, I mean, just uh, coming out the day, coming out the day, I mean, I, mean, I know I can run. I know I can run. Um, everybody know I can run. But I, I got I to gotta just be great at passing still because, I mean, that's what I play. I play quarterback. I'm not a running back. And then also with um, some of the talent that you guys have on this team, where do, where do you see yourselves going at the end of the season? I mean, I see, all I see right now is week two. All I see right now is week two. Thank you. Good job. I was going to get you Malik. <laughs> you need a friend? Yeah, I'm going to grab one for one quick one. What's up? You've improved the last couple of years since I've seen you. Seen you against Delaney last year and against Edmondson. Um, what do you feel? And by the way, you passed for 2,000 yards, man. So that's that's a pretty good deal. What do you think you, you want to improve on tonight's game, the leadership? I think qualities you've done a magnificent job on. Um, just um, in, in improving. We just got to be sharp. Mm -hmm. We got to be sharp. We, we definitely we want to hurry up offense. We need to be faster to the ball. Um, we, 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 I feel like we, we condition pretty good. A lot of our linemen go both ways. But for the most part, we just got to um, move fast and move quicker. We definitely, and with the coach, we got to get our cars up from the sideline better. And at a at a more at a, at a faster pace, but right now we we doing good. Gotcha. What you think about this win tonight? Big win. You would like to build up to a win like this, or get the big win out the way and then move on with the season? I mean, any anybody would have put in front of us. I feel like the same. They've been the same result, if not worse. But I mean, Coach Nixon. I'm I'm glad he he always since I was a freshman, he always put a uh, he put a a, hard, a huge emphasis on becoming one and zero. And I mean, that's what we did today. We we just we prepared for. We prepared like it was another opponent. We know what they do. They run downhill. We um we I picked up on some of the things they they uh they do defensively and the loss last year definitely helped out with that. I knew I knew what I missed last year. So I mean um we just prepared and prepared and came up with that. And Colin, we'll let you get back with your teammates, man. Congratulations, big one tonight. Looking good. The Mustangs, one and oh. Moving on to bigger and better things in week two. Thanks again, Colin. All right, have a good one. You too, man. Appreciate it. All right. All right. Coach Nixon. Patrick Nixon coming your way as well, and then some final remarks. This event in itself, I mean, this is a special day for all of us. I mean, just having three guys go in there and having all the special time. This is a special day for all of us. And the association led by Lawrence Milton, a hell of a job of just putting all this together, and ideas, and just trying to bring the whole city out. 
Um, the whole idea was kind of like, we're so close to Tokyo's like kids in a positive light. And I think we did that tonight. Um, now, he can obviously get prepared for our game. and he get a chance to see the other, other two games that happened before. But I heard they were really good games. That's the battle all the coaches that were involved. Ball in the same time. As far as the game concerned, Coach, just talk about the guys scored on, I think, maybe the third place in scrimmage. Talk about just getting that momentum early. Yeah, I, yeah. But we know we have some big play guys. Guys that are capable of making some big plays. Uh, I was hoping we would be able to string together a nice drive at some point today, but that didn't really seem that it happened. We pretty much scored on big plays. Um, I mean, that was a big swing for us. I mean, we did, Malik Lindsay is someone that's new to our program, and I, one of the things I asked him before the game was, you know, a lot of people don't know if you're able to, or if you're ready to play a big game like this uh, on this big stage. And he showed early on, it took three plays for him to answer my question when I asked him. Mm -hmm. Hey, talk about Kimbrough and just the growth. He seemed more mature. There was times last year where I saw him, it was kind of up and down, but tonight, he seems to have full command of the offense. He's key to the things the hardest over our team. He's what makes me loud. He allows me to sleep well at night knowing that I have a senior leg quarterback mm -hmm. who understands the offense well, understands the leadership well. Mm -hmm. um, all the kids love him on his team. You know, people have his back. You know, he's not perfect. He's still growing. He has some things he has to work on. But overall, no one works harder than him. And we're just very proud of him. Let's talk about the defense. Um, did a lot of good things early, um, kind of sloppy towards the end. Yeah, yeah. They, they showed tonight that we got to get a little bit more in shape. We ran out of gas defensively. So, um, yeah, I thought some good things. We have nine new defensive starters from last year. So, I thought for that, I thought they did play pretty well for the better part of three quarters. And I think that fourth quarter, yeah, we got a little, little tired and fatigued and kind of got sloppy. I know. And then Dunbar just never quit. They never quit. So, to them. No, Coach, big win tonight, first of all. It's playoff-like atmosphere game. Y'all dropping down to 3A in football. How big is this win tonight going to probably against the Franklins, the Dundalks, of the world? Of course, Sydney and Polly later on in the year, you guys are saying. Yeah, you know, a lot of people were talking about us dropping down to 3A as if that was a gift or something. I, I don't feel like that helped us. You know, Franklin and those guys, Ligonor and all the rest of those, Whitlaw, you name them, all great programs. And uh, we, we definitely know that this is a good step in the right direction. We want, we like to host. We like to host a playoff game. We haven't won a game at home in a long time. We know this is a good step for us to get to that goal. Good to have a game of this magnitude to start off. Is it good to have, or you know, usually like to scary. have a new one? <laughs> <laughs> scary. Scary. Like to build up to it, right? Yeah, you don't know what you have, and, and, and to have to find out what you have on a stage like this for, for opening week. Scary. Yeah. And just talk about the growth in the team. You guys played here last year, continuation of the game. They kind of gave you a knockout punch early, but tonight. A much different team. Talk about just the growth. Just, just overall, how is this team different from last year? Um, I think the, the, the team. The, the, this is a group that has a lot to prove. Mm -hmm. um, a, a lot of people have been saying that mm -hmm. this group has never done this and never done that. And who are these guys? Mm -hmm. We got some new guys that came in. We got some some JB guys that stepped up. So we have a, a lot of guys that people don't, don't recognize. You know, as far as name goes, mm -hmm. and not name recognition, but. I'm just proud of how the guys played. I mean, they played hard, they showed, they played together. Mm -hmm. um, just proud overall how they played. Yeah, and let's talk about Dunbar. I mean, this yeah. could have been a one-sided game, but until, I mean, <laughs> man. 30 seconds left, you're looking yeah. like... You're sweating holy, bullets, yeah. man. <laughs> I, saw, I saw it coming. I, I, you kind of see it coming. Mm -hmm. I thought for a while they were getting fatigued, mm -hmm. and, uh, and, and the coin flipping, and we were getting fatigued. And, mm -hmm. and they just kept fighting, man. I, I had to talk to Chris Smith, and... and, and the ball players and staff, they just kept pushing the whole time. Classic group. Um, a well fought game. Hi, right, Coach. Coach. Thank you. Coach Nation, let's get back with the team. Yes, sir. Always yes, sir. a pleasure. Yes, Marvo, 1 0. Here, beating Dunbar in Arch Rival 20. <laughs> to 14 tonight in this one. The first Baltimore City kickoff classic. Let's say so long to you for now on the Dinosaur Network. Tunnel Vision. Hoops Haven Fall League action will still be coming at you, coming your way. So long for now, here on the Dinosaur Network. We'll see you down the road. This is Die Sporting Network. What, what, what?